Hi guys, my name is Carissa and I'm the Fake It Till You Make It Mom. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're joining me for the first time, then welcome to my channel. Today you are joining me for a Featured Friday. It has been about a month since I've done a Featured Friday. Um, and I have been trying out this product for a couple of weeks. It is a company called Burps, B-U-R-P-S. Um, and they make customized diaper bags. Now they are a very small operation so please keep that in mind. The bag you're going to see is completely handmade so it does have imperfections and this is a sample bag I was sent so there are further flaws to it as far as aesthetically but I'm going to be showing you the function of this bag. It is a fantastic bag I would say for trips, for multiple children, for oh, it's a, as an overnight bag. Um, so I'm going to show you this particular setup that I have or packing that I have for the bag is extra. I wanted to see how much I could fit into it, and it is a lot, guys. So I'm going to show you what I have in here, um, and yeah. I will go over all of the parts that go into it, what I've utilized, why I did what I did. Um, now I am packing for two daughters under the age of two. I have a 20 month old and a seven month old. Um, they wear the same size clothing, so they both wear 18 month clothing. Um, one of them is formula fed and it eats baby food. The other one, of course, likes snacks and there's various toys. So that is kind of a heads up as far as what you're going to see in this bag. So yeah, let me go ahead and jump right in. So as I mentioned, there is going to be some imperfections. So this is hand painted on the front. Ugh! This is the bag. And I'm going to show you how big it is. You see how big this is? It is massive. Um, and it's the same on the other side as well. So as you saw right here, it's hand painted. So there are some imperfections right here. They do have the option for, it is, it's all customizable, so you can have it blank, she does some embroidery, um, and different fabric choices and stuff like that. If you talk to her, I'm sure that they can make changes. Um, they seem very accommodating as far as keeping a dialogue. They really wanted to know about the function of the bag, how I liked it, if there was any ways I could see on them improving. So I'm going to go over all of my thoughts um, in this video. So the first thing I want to mention... Um, so it has, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit for you guys. I'm going to back up, I guess, and try to get it to focus. So it has two straps um, so that you can carry it, you know, messenger style crossbody, um, which is how I carry it. And they are, because they're fabric, they're just automatically padded, but they are really soft and they don't slip. Um, it is very, it's a messenger style, so it has the flap right here, and so I'm going to start with, I want to show you guys just how the inside of it is designed, and I will do the inside and then the outer pockets, okay? So, when you open it up, you guys know I am a jujube freak normally, so I love how they're set up. But I actually really like how this is set up. It's a compartmentalized bag. It is set up into four quadrants. And they are very deep. So yeah. Let me go ahead and show you what I have in those. So right here in this back, I have a full fuel cell. This is a Jujube fuel cell in the C ammo print. And this is completely full of goodies. This is my snack case. So, and I have Ari right here, so if you hear any fussing, that's why. Um, inside of this, I've got a bib. So this is my Be Neat, my Perky Toki Be Neat. I've got some silverware right here for both girls. I have a fruit pouch for Kira. I have two jars of baby food for Ari. I have a bottle for Ari. I have a juice box for Kira. I have a protein shake for me for if we are like going to my boot camp or anything like that. I've got a fruit cup for Kira. This is a tropical medley. Some Miralax because Kira's got some issues. 
some yogurt raisins, and a cliff bar for me. So a lot of stuff in this fuel cell, and that fit in that pocket really nicely, and there was even room to spare. So that is my first quadrant there. All right, next quadrant in the back. I did stuff a little bit differently. I used this for diapering. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven size three diapers. Um, not any particular reason I have seven. I just grabbed a handful and then a full, um, about half of a package of wipes. So I had plenty of room for probably six or seven more um, diapers if I wanted to put them in there and a full bag of wipes. In this front compartment right here, this is all of the clothes and stuff like that. So I've got a pair of shoes for each girl. I've got two pairs of socks for spares. I've got a spare short sleeve onesie. I've got a spare like nice outfit, nicer outfit. And then I've got two light jackets because we're in Arizona so there's no need for heavy jackets at any point so that's that compartment and then last but not least I did not know what to put in this other compartment I just put a full container of formula um, this is the Similac Total Comfort because Ari was having some problems when she was little a uh, little er and so I put that in there we can do um, bottles all day so that is everything inside of the main compartment. So like I said, there's four. Um, this is how far my arm goes in. So they're very deep. Moving right along, I'm going to do this part right here. There is three pockets in there. They're separated. So there's three elastic pockets right here. In this tiny little one right here, I have some of my perfectly posh samples. So I've got just a few things if I needed to hand anything out to someone. In the middle one right here, which is larger, I've just got some uh, like basic toiletries and my keys. So I've got my keys because it's easy to grab just right there. I've got a pad tampon, and then some of the business cards from my shop because I own a tattoo studio and piercing studio. And then in this little one right here, I've just got um, my EOS. That's all. Oh my goodness, Ari is unhappy. I'm going to do the side compartments now. So I'm going to do this one first. And in the side compartment right here, I have a smorgasbord of toys. It's pretty big. Um, so I've got this crinkly taggy blanket. I've got a play pack. I've got some stickers. I think I got another. So I got some stickers. I've got a little coloring book. I've got a little rattle. An O-ball rattle. I've got one of these uh, Zoli sticks for Ari because she's teething. I've got this little baby book for Ari. And then some crayons for Kira and this has like, I don't know, 30 something crayons in it. So I could easily fit more in there. I could have fit a big book for Kira. Um, I just grabbed what was nearby. All right. And then this side, I've got first aid kit. This is a um, MediBuddy first aid kit and I did a review for this. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. And then I have a perfectly posh big fat yummy hand cream. This is the All Fall Down which is um, hair and cranberry. So super good for the season. So I use this if anyone needs any. So yeah, that is everything in the front and the two sides. And in the back compartment, which is the one that is the most easily accessible while you're wearing it because there's no flap covering it, and it is a big pocket, it's, it's the whole back. In there I have a perfectly posh catalog, 
and then I have a Be Quick in the Perky Toki. Now this is normally, if I was packing up um, one of my Jujubee bags, this would have been just Kira's bag. Because Kira has all Perky Toki stuff, as you saw from that Be Neat. She's got um, a play pack case that matches. So this would have been just for Kira, but I have been using this as my purse the last few days. So it fits in that pop pocket just absolutely perfectly and I could have just grabbed it and gone if I needed to use it as a purse. Um, I have this tooth care kit because I just had a extensive work done on my teeth so I have toothpaste floss and a toothbrush for wherever I go. I've got a iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 charger and I've got my wallet. And then just random stuff like mini crayons and business cards and stuff in here. So that is everything in this. So you guys have seen everything as far as in the pockets. Now I want to show you one interesting feature of the Burps bag, which I think is actually really cool. So right here, I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I'm going to go ahead and get in a little bit closer for you. Um, right here there are two buttons with elastic loops over them. So when you undo the loops, this is actually the changing pad. And it folds out, kind of like a petunia pickle bottom bag, where it comes and just folds out and it's attached. And it's nice because this is actually multiple layers. So you've got this um, fabric cover right here that you can remove. And then there's a plastic one. And that's Kira banging on the door right now. <laughs> Um, there's a plastic cover and then there's the flap so there's that and just for the ease of this video I'm gonna go ahead and take this off which is really nice that you have that option there is just a zipper right here that you just remove the uh, changing pad comes right off you can throw it in the washing machine no biggie so then it looks like this um, since I rarely use changing pads I personally would not have that on mine because I carry a blanket with me everywhere. Now in the video and the pictures on their Facebook page, they usually have wipes right here. I have, this; these come off so they're adjustable. And I've just put an Aiden and an A or Aiden and an I um, bamboo muslin bank blanket right here and I use this for if I need to put the babies down or change them, I use this. So. It's just a very light blanket, and I put that there. It fits great, and it's easily accessible if you don't have the diaper bag or the uh, changing pad covering it. So I'll go ahead and put those back down. And then the last feature that I want to show you guys regarding this bag, um, which is another interesting feature to me at least, is that right here right above where I remove the changing pad there is another zipper it's like a hidden zipper and it is the ins it's underneath the bag so it's the base of the bag it goes underneath and in the pictures they show that they put diapers there I have used I have been using that for um, anything soiled and trash so wet clothes um, if I had something get dirty or anything like that. I've been putting those in there and it has been working out really well for me. Um, and then I usually, I was keeping trash bags in there too. I just don't have any in there at the moment. So I thought that was a really nice feature as well. Now of course because this is all fabric, obviously it's going to be machine washable. I want to show you guys what it looks like now that it's all empty, um, how small it gets. It wears really nicely like a small tote. Give me just a second. So it wears really nicely and it gets a lot more slim um, when it doesn't have as much in it as I had in it. Now I wore this um, when I took the girls trick or treating. I used it when I was out for an entire day. I used it when we went to a bowling alley. Um, I used it as an overnight bag for grandma's house. So it can be used so many different ways. You do not have to pack it as big as I did. I really like the compartments because for me, I'm one of those people where I do the bag in the bag system. Um, 
But if you didn't want to do that, I could do a compartment for just Kira. I could do a compartment for just Ari. Um, if I didn't want to use it as a diaper bag, I could use a compartment for just my posh stuff. You know, it would be a really, it's a really great bag. It's got a lot of great function. So like I said, the outside of it right now, it's got some, one, it's a one-off. You know, it's, it may not be um, perfect. It has some handmade imperfections. But as far as the functionality of this bag, it has so many different ways that you can use it. It has so many pockets, um, and it is very roomy. Is it a big bag? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, it is a very large bag, and if it's packed all the way, it's going to be bulky. And I'll show you guys an on the body of what it looks like when it doesn't have a ton of stuff in it. It's just going to be packed with a couple diapers, um, a couple of snacks, and a couple of toys. The way that I would pack a bag if we were just heading out. So I'm going to do that on the body video. I'm going to show it to you guys right here. And overall, my opinion is it's very well made. Um, the seams are very strong. It's very soft. It holds together well. The pockets are not flimsy or anything like that. The added benefit, the, the bonus of the changing pad that comes off, I think that is awesome. I like having those little loops where I put the blanket. Really, the world is your oyster with this bag. You can use it however you want to. It could be anything you want it to be for a big, for a large bag. Um, so if you guys are interested, I am going to have the information, the Facebook uh, link in the description box below. Um, and yeah, so I absolutely do love this bag. I like supporting moms and small businesses and companies like that. And I think this is one that if you guys have been looking for something that you could have customized to you, something that was machine washable, if you have multiples, if you've got twins, if you've got like four kids um, that are all, you know, different ages, then this is an awesome bag because you can put something, you can have a compartment for each kid. You can have a compartment for snacks and drinks, and you can have a compartment for clothes and for diapers or training pads or, you know, I could fit, I could easily fit like my Tula in here. I could easily fit a bunch of cloth diapers in here and a wet bag. I could do anything that I wanted with this bag. So it makes me very happy that I tried this out, that I was sent this as a sample, and I implore all of you guys to check it out. See if there's anything else that they can do for you, any patterns, and if you start a dialogue with them, I'm sure they're going to do something to make it work for you. So, thank you guys so much for watching this Featured Friday featuring the Burps Handmade Custom Diaper Bag, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!